With any kind of food, you can, now we're talking about Eruv Tchumim. You can go from your house to walk 2,000 Amis you can, uh, in, each, in any direction. Now, if you lay food down before, either you can be there physically with your body right before Shabbos, that establishes a new home, or you can put food in that location, that extends your Tchum from that location to 2,000 Amis beyond the food. Now it restricts you. You can only go in that direction. Your house, you can now no longer go even four amas the other direction. At the beginning of Shabbos, if you didn't put an Eruv down, you could go 2,000 amas in every direction. Now when you lay, let's say, two, uh, an Eruv 2,000 amas to the west, you can now go 2,000 amas beyond. So you can go 4,000 amas to the west, but you can't go any amount to the east. Now, with you can't use, and every, you have to be able to use food that is roy to be eaten. So it says, Bakoma Arvin, with all kinds of food, you can make an air of Umishtatvin. And if you can make a sheet of Mavuos, right? If you have trying to uh, combine multiple Mavuos by buying food and putting it in one of the person's houses. So all food works, except for water and salt. More is going to tell us that it's not considered mazon. It doesn't nourish. Now, the farmer had to give meiser rishon to the lady one tenth every year. In the first, second, fourth, and fifth year of the Shemitah of the shmita cycle, the second meiser was meiser sheni, which belongs to you, but. You cannot eat it in your house in Tel Aviv. You have to go to Yushalayim to eat it. Now, if you had too much food, if you had to carry to Yushalayim, you could transfer, you could transfer the Kedusha to money. You have to pay an extra 20% fine. And then you could take the money and buy food in Yushalayim. Now, Hakol Nikach of Meiser, Chutz all kinds of food, can be bought with Meister Shani money. And all sorts of things can be redeemed for Meister Shani money, except for water and salt. The Gemara will explain why. The third Allah, Hanoidim in Amazon, somebody makes a net there that I'm not going to put something nourishing into my mouth. You're allowed to drink water or, or salt because those things are not nourishing. Even though a, a, a nausea cannot drink wine, you're allowed to put wine down even for a nausea, for his air of Tchum. Because other people can drink it and it's considered mazon. Similarly, even a Yisrael could put truma down because a coin can eat it. So as long as it's roy for somebody, it will fulfill the criteria for Nehru. Sumchus Arma Bechulin, Sumchus disagrees, says it has to be chulin, not truma, because you can't eat truma. Ula Kohen de Beis Apras. The Beis Apras is a field that it's a, there may be a dead body that had been buried there that has been, has been ground up by different plows. So that's considered a base of pras. And a coin is not allowed to just walk through there. So the question is, why can you put a name of there? So he says you can, because he can go through there and blow in front of him with his mouth. And, and any bone fragments will be blown away, and he can walk through a field that way, so he can get access to it. Rabbi Yudhaim Rafi Lebein 
even if the Eruv is put in a cemetery, a Kohen can do it. If 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 a Kohen goes gets carried into a cemetery in a box, which protects him from the Tumah, so he can go to the food through a box. And since he and his Eruv are in the same location, in the Eruv will work. You can't learn to other halachos uh, from a general claw when it says bakol, even when it says because even the exceptions, there may be other exceptions. So So on what cases is Rav Yechlin referring to? Hasim koi. It says, call mitzvah sasesha as man grama, any mitzvah that is tied to time, anoshim chayovim v'noshim turos. Women are potter. V'shelo man grama, any mitzvah that's unconnected to time, echad noshim v'echad anoshim chayovim. So both men and women are chayovim. Frank the Gemara, klolo to call mitzvah sasesha as man grama, anoshim turos, is it correct? To say that all mitzvahs are say that are tied to time, women are potter, are in matzah. A, a, a woman is 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 is, is matzah, even though it's tied to time. That's because it's connected to the Isr Chometz. Since they're uh in the law, they're chayv in the Asay, because it's 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 there's a connection between the matzah and the chametz. Similarly, the mitzvah of simcha, which is tied to time. And women are machayv in simcha. And similar v'hakel, the uh, every seven years, on Chag Asukas Motzei Shmita, the king would read the parsha, the Sefer Dvarim, and even the Noshim would come. I, it's tied to time, but they're chayv. So you see, it's an exception. And your rule that all mitzvahs tied, not tied to time, women are chayv, I'll show you not. Haret Talmud Torah, which is not tied to time, and you see women are potter, period of revia. If be fruitful mitzvah, women are not chayv and prune. Pidina ben, a woman, since she's not poida, she cannot do pidina ben. Even though these are not tied to time, mitzvah says, Shalos, man, grab v'noshim, turos. And yet women are potter. So these rules, that's why. Because you see, even when you're given a statement like bakol or kol, and even that says chutz me, you, you see that there are other exceptions that the mission didn't mention. Anything that a Zav wears on his body is Tomei. The Kosha Zav Nisa Lav Tor, but that which a Zav is carried on is not necessarily Tomei, except except if you carry him on a sofa, something that is Roy to sit on, or a human being carries him, then those items do become Tomei. There is like a saddle, which is something that can become Tomei through Zav. What are we talking about? We're talking about the part of the saddle that you sit on, Hainu Moshe. Well, that's the same as anything that you sit on. So, the, uh, the horn of the saddle, the piece of the saddle that's up from where you sit. The Tanya Ha'uk of Tommy Moshe. The Tommy Tommy Merka. The Tofus, the Uk that you sit on is Tommy Moshe. The Tofus is also Tommy Merka. So you see, there are other chutz, there are other exceptions, even that were mentioned in the Brysa. El Shmami No, a further proof that Ainla made him not close. Third example. Amra Vina Vitebra of Dachba for Nan Namitanina. Our Mishnah, Bakol Ma Arvinu Mishtatfin, Chutzmana Maim Vanella. He said water and, and, and salt cannot be used for Avid. Freight the Gemara Vesu, Lekabah Ika Kamenu Petrius. What about mushrooms? We'll see it as well. 
people do not make a suda on those things. So it's not considered Muslim. And we don't argue with them. So you see, that wasn't mentioned. Okay. Then the Mishnah said, I call Nikach of Miser. You can buy all food with Miser Shani money except for salt and water. Rabbi Yezra, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Chanina. Chad Masnia, Eruv. One says that this din refers to Eruv. The Chad Masnia, Miser. Another says it relates to the Miser. Miser Shani. When do we say that it doesn't work as an a roof? That's water by itself or salt by itself. The marvin. But let's say you made a brine by mixing the salt in the water. People dip their bread in brine, so that's a real food. So that could be used for a roof some learn it on Meiser Shein. You can't purchase salt individually or water individually with Meiser Shein money. Brine, water that you, that you dissolve salt in, because of Meiser. The one who learns it going on Meiser, because Meiser Shein is me deraisa, Eruv is only Rabbonah. So if it works for mice, it certainly would work for Eru. However, man de masnia Eru of Amaisur lo. The one who learns that it's only going on Eru, it's only going on Eru, but Amaisur Shani does it. My time of Peira Be'inan. We need to be a, some kind of fruit. Even meat and, and fish, we'll see, are considered fruit in a sense. And we'll see why. But water and salt are clearly not fruit. There's no reproduction. It's not pay me, me pay me. He also, Rav Yitzhak, Masni HaMaiser. Rav Yitzhak learned that the din of Maimu Melech refers to Maiser Shein. Meisvei, you ask your kasha on that. Heid Rav Yudu Ben Godish, Lifnei Rav Yitzhak. Shobes Abba Hayulot Shin Seer, the cast of Maiser. They used to buy fish brine. Seer is fish juice, juice that comes out of fish. And they used to buy it with cast of Maiser. That's not just salt and water. That's pieces of fish are in there. So you can't bring a raya from there that it's a kasha on my mumela. Because that mandarma will hold that you need pieces of fish in there. Fish juice also has fat. It's like the fat of the fish goes into that brine. But Maimu Melech, he would not allow. Our Rav Yosef, the, what about, of course, if you put oil in there, oil, olive oil, certainly something that you can buy with Kesef Maiser Shani. And Amalei Abai Vatebi Klemi Shum Shem, and who cares that there's water in Melech there? As long as there's Shem in there, you certainly could, you, could transfer the money. So the Chiddush is, Lo Tzricha Shenosen Dmei Maimu Melech Ba'avlo. It means you gave a certain price for the um, olive oil, for the oil, and they threw in the salt and the water. That'll work for the Kesef Meiser Shemi. Afraid to go, Gemara Ba'avlo, I'm sure, is that permitted? And yeah, Batanya, but Baba Goyda. It says, Babakar, you can, you can buy Meister Shani, with, you can buy Bokar. Melamet Shalotim Bokar al Gav Oro. Even the hide, which you don't eat, that the meat is connected to, you can also buy in one price. Uvat Son, sheep. Melamet Shalotim Son al Gav When you buy the sheep, you can buy the wool too, even though you don't eat wool. Uvayayin. Melamet Shalotim Yan al Gav Kankoro. When you buy a barrel of wine, if you buy the barrel, the barrel can be bought with the same amount of money. Temet is me, wine that is somewhat fermented, or grape juice, which gets fermented. So even the temed that is bought once it's, once it's uh, fermented, you can also buy it with Kesef Meister Shani money. 
Man de metargam li babokar, I leave it to Ben Bagbag. The one who explains me the din of Bokar, according to Ben Bagbag, muvlina mani ab Australia be masud. I will carry his laundry to the laundromat. That means it's a difficult question. I need somebody to explain it to me. Now my time. So the Morris says, Kulutsrihi. The Torah had to mention Bokar, Tzon, Yain, and Sheikh. Why? Kulutsrihi li barmi Bokar, the Lloyd Sorin. I could have learned everything out from the other examples, I, and Bokar wasn't needed. The Maitsrihi. Why were the others needed? If the Torah would have written, I could buy Bokar, Abamina Bokar, who means Dabil Gabi Oimur. You know what? By cattle, I can acquire with my Sushani money the hide with meat on it. It's part of, you can't, you can't remove the meat without removing the hide. It's all one item. But sheep, and it's wool. The lab, you can shear the sheep, take the wool off. It's not part of the goof of the animal. Maybe I would think, aim alone. Maybe I can't bite some that way. So maybe you would have written son alone. I would have understood that it works because at least the wool is connected in some way to the hide of the sheep. But a wine floating around in a barrel, it's not connected to the barrel. Aim alone. I would have thought maybe I can't buy a barrel of wine with the same amount of money. Listen, wine is a liquid. It, it needs to be held in a, in a, in a vessel. Listen, soaking some grape juice in water, so that's just a little bit of uh, absorption, so maybe aim alone. Maybe shecha means not grape juice or that's fermented, but it means the pressed figs, which used to make people drunk, the peri, and that works because it's fruit. But maybe wine in this barrel, I would say no. If you told me I, and I would have thought, fine, that's because a liquid has to have a vessel that contains it. But maybe wool on top of the sheep, Maybe I can't buy the wool. Cause one and so the filo gav gizosa, I can do. Baboker lamali, so baboker is is I don't need. The chite me ilo cause rachmana baboker. Maybe if the Torah would have written baboker, I would need son agabi or in. Maybe again, sheep because I need the meat, the hide. I would understand, but regarding the wool, which can be shaved separately from the meat, maybe lo cause rachmana baboker la suyu oyvei. So the baboker teaches me the hide. So so tzon is left extra to teach me wool. And he lokas rachona bokar la havimina tzon agabi oriyin agab gizos alo. If the Torah would have written bokar, I would have had that havimina. The im kain lichta rachona bokar. The Torah could have just written bokar by itself. The meila ite late tzon, and I would have known tzon by itself. Even the kaz rachona tzon that feel agabi gizos. Certainly, by bokar lamal, I wouldn't need a bokar if wool works which can be sheared separately from the hide, certainly by bokar, where the hide is, is connected to the meat, there would be no shyly regarding bokar. And that explains, whoever can explain why the Torah to write bokar, I will take his laundry to the laundromat. <laughs> Rabbi Yehuda ben Gadish, Rabbi Yehuda ben Gadish, Rabbi Yehuda ben Gadish, What is the source of their machlokas? Rabbi Yehuda ben Gadish, Rabbi Yehuda darshi, ribui umiuti. They darshan psukim in the concept of ribui and miut. Vahani tanoi darshi klal yuprati. They use a different formula called klal uprat. And we'll understand this soon. Rabbi Yehuda ben Gadish, Rabbi Yehuda darshi, ribui umiuti. The Pasuk says, Give money, whatever you want to buy, riba. That's we include everything. But then the Torah says, 
cattle, sheep, wine, and beer. So me eight. So that's, an, that's restrictive. Tells you what to buy. Then the Torah closes, anything you want, cause of a reboot. So whenever you have that format of a reboy followed by a mie, followed by a reboy, riba umiyat riba riba hakol. It includes everything. My rabbi, rabbi kol mili, means you can buy anything. My mie, the rabbi Ezra mie seer. Rabbi Ezra will will say that fish brine does not work, and rabbi ben gadish mie my mumelach. He he says. What's excluded is water and salt. The other tanoim darshan in a different formula. Klalu prat the tanya. Vinosata kesa v'chol asher taben after chal klal. Babako v'tzorav yerem asher prat, which means the detail. Uv'chol asher tishalchan asher chazer v'chol. That's the generality. So the formula goes klalu prat to klal. Iat hadan elakena prat. We look at the detail and we look at the common denominator of the detail. Now, what is common between Bakart, Son, Yain, and Shechar? Ma'aprat, Mephorsh, Prima, Prima, Gedulei, Karka. One is born from another, right? There's, it, it, the, and they grow from the ground. I've called Primi, Pri, it has a reproductive cycle, they do like Karka. The time you eat it, my prop before it's vlad, vlad is arets, means it has to be created from earth. I've called vlad, vlad is arets. My binayu, what's the difference? On Rabbi Adam, give me binayu. Fish. Because according to the Torah, fish were created in the water. So if the, if the requirement is asked, is has to be, in order for my sashani to work, it has to be something that grows from the ground. Then fish would not be included. Fish will eat nutri nutritious items in the ocean from the ground of the ocean. So, in a sense, that's considered you do like karka. But fish were created from the water, not from the ground, and therefore they'd be excluded. Freight to Gamor, Mi Omra, Baya, Dagim, you do like karka, Nenu. Ramabaya, and we'll ask the Kasha tomorrow night. Now, tomorrow night we could learn at 8.30. Right? Yeah. It's over at 8 o'clock or so, Shabbat. So. Okay, let everybody...